Released nationwide on April 11, 2014, this sports comedy drama film from director Ivan Reitman is a fun and exciting picture, where everything takes place in a single day. Produced on a $25 million budget, this movie is technically very simple and limited, and given its neat subject matter, it will be unexpected if it turns a huge profit. In what seems like his umpteenth sports-related picture, Kevin Costner stars as the general manager of the National Football League's Cleveland Browns, who struggles to decide which talented athlete he'll select with his team's coveted number one draft pick, but not before a lot of backdoor negotiations, intense phone calls, and and plenty of second guessing by those around him. The ambitious Costner defense is unpredictable and seemingly poor decisions by saying, I want this team's future back. Nearing 60 years old, this old Hollywood veteran still has the chops and defiantly commands the film every time he's on screen, perfectly balancing nuanced emotions with undeniable charisma. When he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the team's head coach, played by an angry Dennis Leary, the two have no issue shouting at each other while important documents burn right between them. Neither stubborn party willing to budge on their position. Why am I here, Sonny? Because Melina thinks you coached the Cowboys. I did coach the Cowboys. And I think you were a bad babysitter. This city deserves a championship, and I'm the guy that can deliver it. Well, then we're on the same page, Vance. Oh, yeah? Then keep me in the loop. Well, there is no loop, all right? There's me doing my job, you doing yours. Your job is to coach the team I give you. They do it different in Dallas? Yeah, they do. They win. A lot. The beautiful Jennifer Garner might be a bit young to be believable as Kevin's love interest, but the two strengthen each other's performances. Frank Langlia, Sam Elliott, Tom Welling, Terry Crews, Chee McBride, Kevin Dunn, Sean Combs, and a host of cameos by real NFL players and sportscasters also pop in and out of the fast-moving 109-minute picture. Commendably, this is one of the rare motion pictures to have secured full rights from the NFL itself, which really helps sell its believability. With Reitman behind the helm, it's no surprise this is a sharp and fresh film. He's been responsible for some true gems over the years, like Ghostbusters, Twins, Dave, and Evolution. And he once again concocts magic in a bottle with his troupe of actors. Since a large number of scenes take place via phone call, some inventive split-screen chroma key effects are used to keep everything visually interesting and unique. The music from John Demney isn't anything special, but it provides a suitable backdrop to the heated, fast-moving script. Although obviously fictionalized, the PG-13 rated narrative is great drama for all sports fans, but its ability to successfully entertain the more casual viewer is perhaps more impressive. A realistic but ultimately contained and limited experience that's definitely worth watching at least once, even if you're not a sports fan. Draft Day is a sharp, quick-witted dialogue drama. Now let's bring in the rate matic for my thoughts. An 8. Going into an early screening of this picture completely blind, I had few expectations, but this film pleasantly exceeded them all. Seek it out if you can, I thought it was great.